wasting our time. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's, he's trying to keep the audience guessing, you know. What, do we see PS2? Yeah, Starter Bell. All right, Starter Stadium, whatever this is called. But uh, yeah, Snake really kind of has to hunker down in this matchup, put up that wall himself, and we know Cody's really want to... Cody's probably going to just go that in, and uh, he's going to find a lot of his turn of pulls, unlike the set before. But uh, you got to watch out where you're swinging, because uh, if you don't know, a, a grenade will just blow you up right then and there, and uh, Snake will be winning. Yeah, uh... Oh, that was so smart! Grabbed him right as the grenade was falling! So cute! There's the up tilt. Uh, okay, C4, PSA. This is actually important for us. We need to give regular PSAs on the uh, location of the C4. Right now it is on the top right platform of PS2. Yeah, it's always really hard to uh, keep track of those uh, C4s, especially when you're playing because, uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind, especially they disappear after quite some time. Until, uh, oh, going for the spike. Oh, he oh, should be fine here. He's, oh, that was so good. The maximum spacing for that... Uh, that air dodge to still reach the Dragon ledge. Hands coming out clutch. C4 is still chilling in the center right now. Yeah, on the red of that Pokeball. Cody got to make really good now. And that's going to do it. Yeah, but about 48% dealt already onto Cody, which is not nothing, especially considering the fact that we, we've we seen Snake's kill power. Is once that up tilt becomes online at like 90, it's just so scary. And we see a semblance of Cody's starting to get his turn-up game going, but uh, the grenade and Bobo is still just shutting all of that down. Okay, good up tilt. Not enough to actually take the stock just yet. You see he's looking for it. Peach, a character that loves to be in the air, is one of the most susceptible yeah, to really that massive to kill. Lure him in right now. Uh, let's just see for a rip, uh, replanting it. Still wanting Cody to come in with the up tilt. Good get up attack. That was really good. And the fact that C4 was to the left, that that running away covered a lot of options. And I think that specifically he was hoping that he was scared into running away because of the C4 on the other side. There's again the up tilt, second up tilt that we've seen. It is just, it's the key to Bobo's success right now. Yeah, that uh, sneak. up tilt is absurdly good. Taking out everybody regardless of percent. Uh, come and fear for your lives, along with the C4. Yep. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your C4 is? <laughs> it is on the top right platform again. Okay. Don't forget it. Okay. <laughs> he was Actually, I like it when players do that. They try to bait the snake into thinking that they didn't remember where the C4 is, and they detonate, and they just like... Oh, my God. Oh, get in the, the grenade off that C4 conversion. I guess a, a snake classic, if you will. But uh, I, we know Bobo is certainly, certainly capable of finding a lot of his conversions, but still getting the up tilt and taking out that first game. Three up tilts. Every single stock that game was an up tilt. Yeah, you know, three times the charm, you know? Yeah, I mean, if you, as we move into this next game, I think it's going to be, okay, it's easy to say don't get up tilted, but like at those higher percents, it's just something you have to really be aware of. And it's awkward because that's just the space that Peach likes to be at normally. You know, like a little bit directionally, like, diagonal, you know, away. That's a great space for her to be. She has access to things like forward air. She's facing away back air. You know, that's, like, where she loves to start her combos from. But if you're in that space, up tilt is there waiting for you. That move is just so much bigger than you think it is. And it's so much more powerful than it has any right to be. <laughs> Yeah, and it's mostly Bobo kind of just leading Cody in, tacking on those up tilts because uh, he knows he really wants to get in every time with the Peach. But uh, we're taking it to a small battlefield. Uh, I see Cody probably trying to get rid of that space so we can go to town more so on Bobo. And there we go. There's the turn of conversions coming out. I'm liking the B reverses. Cute little way to mix up the landing. But Bobo right now, 87%. Oh, my God the reversals you have to be so careful if you mess up even a little bit during your edge guarding you can take so much damage and Cody's going to town with the turnups catching him low with the fair no DI as well I don't know if DI would have saved him that was a pretty meaty fair by low this stage definitely meaty and definitely a scary situation that Cody definitely is no stranger to but Bobo doing his thing setting a shop right about now mm. Getting the I, okay. C4 on the plat, getting the grenades. <laughs> I love that crouch right there. C yeah. Oh, oh my go. god! The shield break. Since when that's, does that happen? That, oh, yep, that's definitely the stock. Holding for dramatic pause. That was so good from Bobo. Wow. I, 
Definitely Kodo, Cody didn't see that coming. Neither did we. The up smashes. Why, why are these up smashes doing so much work all of a sudden? But yeah, there we go. Seeing Bobo catch. lead him in. You uh, want to play catch, son? Cody just trying to hug the grenades, you know, trying to get into the arm's way. But a good evasion from the Cypher, but uh, can he escape the Wall of Mortars? How are these, these, up, these up smashes, they were nowhere near this effective in the last game. All of a sudden, he's hit like seven of them this stock. I see Bobo making that uh, that second game magic work, but uh, Co Cody working some own magic of his own, getting that back air off. Taking out that stock and uh, working on this second one right here, but a grenade interrupting the Cody flow. Not falling victim to the C4 or a shield rake. Good chase off the oh. flat. Oh, this could be death though. Oh, interesting. I thought he was just going to stay underneath and threaten. Uh, all right, but there's the up tilt. Yep, up tilt coming out to play. Fourth up tilt kill. <laughs> but a Bobo can definitely turn the tides because against Snake, getting hit by those grenades, uh, you're going to be going up real quick. Yep, uh, PSA, by the way, C4 is in the middle platform. There's stitch face. Okay, we're fine. Sorry, not in the middle. It's in the middle of the stage. Cody definitely in position. What? He's no. dead. He hit the Cypher. So smart. Yeah. Cody was really looking to take him out with that fair, but uh, I guess Bobo kind of buffered his own fair looking for that reversal, and he just wasn't I thought he hit able the to. Uh, he did hit the Cypher. And but I think uh, when you hit the Cypher, it goes away and Snake dies, right? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, but uh, in this situation, uh, Bobo's really looking to reverse Cody because uh, he knows he really wants to go down there. So... Uh, uh, he kind of lost out in that situation, though, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to be seeing a Game 3 happening. Yeah, another Game 3. I will just say, as an aside, I love the seeding at Encore. Seeding at Encore, I think, is actually the best uh, seeding of any local in the area. Just because, like, every stream game that we get is best. It goes to Game 3. I think I might have Super to agree, because game. from what I've seen tonight, it has been phenomenal. Honestly, we need to have worse seedings so that these tournaments end a little earlier. If every single set, every single time people play is game three. If you want worse seeding, go to Jersey, not New York. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Jersey, but you gotta get your stuff together. <laughs> but uh we're seeing Cody taking or we're seeing Bobo taking Cody back to PS2, getting a really solid percent lead on him right about now. Oh, yeah, great job with that turnip. We've seen it, like, when we played against Gatsby, Cody is able to do so much damage off of a single turnip conversion, and it continues to be that way. Bobo at 90%, trapped at the ledge, can't even get the reversal and rolls behind, but with, it's Cody's still on top of him. Okay, Cody holding that center against Bobo again. Good punish on the roll, getting that back here. Uh, Bobo taken to the sky is trying to get his way back to the center. Trying to get his way back into Cody as well. Cody is not having any of it though and gets the turn up and gets the kill off the fair. Yeah, C4 on the red of the Pokeball. Oh, wait, what just happened? Uh, oh. Get up attack kind of clashing with uh, the grenade. Yeah, that was strange. Good. Oh, well, the thing is that I felt like because Cody was going for so many of those getup attacks off of the down throw that I was really expecting Bobo to like keep that in his brain and go for some Omega punish on it. What was that? Yeah, Cody just dodging through the fire and the flames. Uh, he's been really was... winning out in all these reactions, or in yeah. all these uh, situations. Yeah, I feel like in that situation, Bobo should have just waited and reacted on the C4. He was really expecting Cody to be uh, just getting up into it, but he didn't. And, uh, it kind of looks like Cody's working on a dominating three stock right now, taking it up with the up air. Three stocks to one. Finally, Bobo taking it, but this is a uh, this is a grim position to be in. Three stock to one comebacks are so hard to like make, make happen. Oh, but we get that down air off into the peach side view. Cody really feeling himself in this game, really getting the momentum going to be able to probably close out this set unless Bobo is able to clutch it out and take out the reversal. Okay, overcommitting on the grab. Bobo putting in a, in, in a really tricky situation. Getting strapped with the C4. You get him blown up by the grenade! 
Oh, snap. 60. Oh, wow. This is actually turning around for Bobo. But Cody's still in a pretty strong position. 18% is not that much, but 68 isn't isn't a, that big of an amount either. Very even at the moment, and look at this wall! The explosions looking like the no man's land. Yeah, Cody with a great tomahawk grab, putting Bobo at the ledge once more, forced to wall out with the grenades. Uh, still sitting in a very comfortable situation to be closing out the set, but the reward! Bobo stealing it out! I cannot believe it! What is with these players tonight? Every time! The just when we think it's over, the reversal immediately comes back and